Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this very simple, basic, five minute look. I'm using all drugstore slash affordable products. It's a very simple process. I use one eyeshadow, I use a total of three brushes. It's very simple, fast and easy. When my husband comes to me and says like, hey, we need to be out the door in five minutes and I am barefaced, this is usually what I end up with. So if you would like to see how I got this five minute makeup, First please I'm keep watching. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime. And this is the Blur and Illuminate Primer. And basically what I'm using this primer for is to just start to even out my skin tone and kind of give it a healthy glow because then I am going to come in with a powder foundation but that's what I use this primer for. It's I'm not really using it to like prime my face and make sure my makeup stays. It's just more for the skin tone and to give myself somewhat of a healthy glow. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder Foundation. I have it in 310. It's in powder beige. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my face using this fluffy foundation brush from BH Cosmetics. So instead of using like a liquid foundation, I just use the combination of the primer and then this powder foundation and it's just a pretty quick and easy application for me. It doesn't take me too long to do and I think it gives me some good color. It gives me that glow, evens out my skin tone, all that good stuff. I also do bring the powder down onto my neck as well, just to try to make sure that I'm matching it. And that's all. I come in with some concealer and I like to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is like such a talked about concealer. So many people love it. I have the shade Fair Light and it's got this like fun top on there. But what I do is put it Basically all around my eyes, I put it underneath my eyes and then I also put it up here to kind of act as like a primer instead of using an actual eye primer. I just use this concealer. So I just kind of bring it down, I bring it up and I put it in the little corner. I struggle with like dark marks in the corner of my eyes so I make sure I put it there. Just kind of surround my eyes with it, cover any dark circles, kind of brighten up under my eye, use it as a primer, I mean, just get all sorts of uses out of this one. Now I don't go in and do the full like highlight routine how I would normally like bring it down even farther, I put it on my forehead, my nose, my chin, we're in a rush, so this is all I do for concealer. Instead of taking time to get my beauty blender wet and rinse it out and all that good stuff, I just come in with this Sephora airbrush concealer their number 57 brush so I just use this to blend out the concealer I just press it in to my skin all around here I blend it up to my eyebrow I did not tie my hair back normally I would have my bangs out of my face I forgot to do that and I don't want to go all the way upstairs I like to use a brush sometimes versus the Beauty Blender. A, it, it does take less time for me, which I think is really great, but if I'm just gonna be doing like around my eyes like this, I don't feel the need to bust out the whole Beauty Blender route and this brush works perfectly fine. I think it was actually a little bit pricey from Sephora. It was probably like in the $20 range and I think they have just as good, if not better brushes at Morphe. Their concealer brush, I can't think of what it's called right now, but I have it in my bag. I'll link it below. The concealer brush that I'm going to be purchasing here shortly. I'm going to leave my face alone for a little bit and focus on my eyes. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics blending brush and I'm going into my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I am using this top center one. It is Creme Brulee. I'm going to be using that one. I'm just going to pick up some product and I'm going to put it right in the crease of my eye and just kind of blend it out. And this is the only shade that I'm going to be using on my eyes. I keep the eyes very simple when I'm in a hurry. One eyeshadow and that's all I got time for. So I'm just going to use like back and forth motions, windshield wiper motions, just blend it all in my crease, bring it out a little bit. Once I don't have like much product on my brush, I'll kind of bring it up and down as well. 
when I am in a hurry, I still usually line my upper eyes. I, I don't know. I just feel like I look really young and also really tired when I don't have eyeliner on the top. So I basically do this pretty much almost every single time. It's, it's very rare to see me without eyeliner on. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Graphic. I'm going to be using this eyeliner and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to draw a line along the top and just do like a pretty small wing. I'm not going to really take my time to wing it out because we're doing this in a hurry. How I do the wing, I have demonstrated this before. It is kind of hard to show on camera, not going to lie, and only have one hand. But I just draw a small line from like my lower lash line up towards my eyebrow. I just draw with the like very pointed edge of this eyeliner. I just draw a very small line like that. And then I just fill in my upper eyelid. Once I have it filled in, I'm going to connect the wing over to my line. And then if you can see how we have like that shape of a wing right there, then I just take the eyeliner and fill it in. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, make that little line, fill in my eyelid, just connect them. After the eyeliner is done, I'm going to line my bottom waterline and I'm using the NYX Tre Jolet Gel Eyeliner Pencil in black. I just line the bottom waterline. And with this one, I kind of will get a little messy because I'm not going to put any like eyeshadow or anything smudged on the lower line. So I kind of use this gel eyeliner pencil to just kind of smudge it out on its own. And for mascara, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Define a Lash. I really love this eyeliner. I've had it in my collection for a really long time and it's almost gone and I'm pretty sad about it. So use this to line the lower and upper lash line. What the wand looks like. Like it's very small, but the wand is like very flexible, which when you're trying to get all your eyelashes, I think it works out really well, but it's just very precise and I think the name fits it really well, like define a lash because I feel like that's exactly what it does. I do have the Define Align Eyeliner from Maybelline. I believe I bought these in a set together and I actually really don't like the eyeliner, but love the mascara, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I think the eyeliner just like smears and does not stay put, so. I do not typically reach for that eyeliner. So that is the mascara. I just do one coat when I'm in a hurry, of course. I'm gonna finish up with my cheeks. I am using Between the Sheets, and this is from ColourPop. I did just mention this in my ColourPop haul, and I cannot open this blush because I closed them so tight, but that is Between the Sheets. And I'm just gonna pop this all over my cheeks. I'm using my stippling brush from e.l.f because of the different consistency of these blushes. You kind of have to use a dual fiber brush or a stipple brush or your fingers. Just a regular fluffy blush brush really doesn't work with the moussey texture of the ColourPop blushes. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to be using J. Lou's JLo's Nude, and this is from L'Oreal, and it's just a really great nude color. I reach for it a lot. It's getting down there, actually. No lip liner required for this one. It's very silky and creamy. I know the L'Oreal smell is kind of weird, and unfortunately, this does have the L'Oreal smell to it, but I really like the color, so... That's what I'm going to use. This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed that makeup tutorial. It really is pretty basic. I know a lot of times when I see people say they do five minute makeup, they don't do 
the top eyeliner. It's just something that I prefer to do. Of course, if you're rushed or say you have something else you prefer, like some people have to highlight their face or some people have to bronze their face. I didn't use any bronzer or any highlighter or anything like that. I didn't do my eyebrows. So that's just something when it comes to me personally, that's just something that I really love to do. But this really is, I did time myself the other day while I did this makeup look and it took me like just over five minutes to do it. But also my husband was talking to me at the same time and I was trying to get changed. But this is my very basic go-to makeup using the drugstore and affordable products. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I was gonna do a back to school tutorial and then I kind of got busy with a few other things and didn't film it. So it's a little late to say this is a back to school makeup look, but I mean, it definitely could be back to school makeup if you are still looking for ideas and now that you have started school. I will leave all of the products that I used in the description box below, so be sure to check out those links. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any other makeup tutorials that you are interested in seeing or makeup products that you want me to use in a tutorial or even to just review, please do comment below and let me know and I would love to do that for you. I think this is my third makeup tutorial. I'm starting to feel a little bit better and more confident and understand. I do wish I had some sort of mirror that I could look into instead of holding the compact because then trying to do everything one-handed is a little bit on the tough side, but hey, I will still keep working on it, getting more equipment and all that good stuff. But yeah, if you have any other requests, please do comment below and let me know. Please subscribe before you go and I will catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching.